We are the Akichito of the Ocheti Shikoi, and we do not want this road blocked. No matter what the news will tell you, we are trying to fix this for everybody, all the locals to get to where they need to go. Our guys are actively trying to take down this barricade, and the Dapple Workers, Police, and National Guard don't want them to because they do not want this road open. They're actually maneuvering their cars around to where the rear ends are facing us so that they can say they do not have dash cam evidence that is taking place. There were only two cars down here when it started. All these cars showed up because they don't want us to unblock this road. Getting towards the evening, it was almost sundown. And um, basically, we just got tired of their lives. They kept saying, we're going to open up the road for emergency personnel, ambulance and stuff like that. They kept saying, you know, the DOT inspected the bridge and they said it's unsafe. But that bridge over there, they cleared it out right away and they were driving their heavy equipment across it. Any fires that started was from their um, tear gas that we, they'd throw at us and we'd throw it off to the side and, you know, a couple small fires started, which we, some of us would go over and put it out. I got lots of dents in the back of my truck that uh, my, one of my mirrors was shot out because they know that's the only way I could back it up is my mirrors. We were worried about the chain snapping and hitting somebody. We were more worried about the people's safety than the police were. Oh, oh. He starts going. He's keeping them going all the way up there. When I went back to hook up the second truck, they were throwing percussion grenades trying to hit me and throwing tear gas at me. The police were actually literally aiming for people's heads at 20 feet away with a non-lethal round. It sounded like a hailstorm when I was in there.